About 10 years ago, I decided that I wanted to convert my tiny home office into a Haunted Mansion themed room with elements and props from the ride. A little home away from home, if you will. But I kept putting it off or getting sidetracked, so now that everyone is home more, I have no reason not to get started. But maybe I should start with something small. One of the first things I found was a chandelier, but it needed a ceiling medallion if it was going to look like it belonged in the Haunted Mansion. It's made of urethane and arrived in four pieces, but it doesn't look like wood. Now before I get to that, I glued it together with some CA glue and have some seams to fill. For this, I'm going to use 3M Air Dry Putty. This is good for small imperfections. It comes pre-mixed in a tube and can be sanded flush after about 25 minutes. For getting into the small details, I like to use these sanding twigs that come in a variety of grits. I'm using an 80 grit to knock down the excess, and then I'll switch over to some flexible 320 grit sandpaper to smooth out my edges. This step doesn't need to be perfect because the wood grain pattern will hide these small imperfections. Once I've got the sanding taken care of, I'll dust off my medallion and give it a quick coat of primer to help even out the surface a bit. I'll hit it with a hair dryer so that I can handle it, and then I'll set it out in the sun to dry. The primer coat will give your piece a uniform color, which makes it easier to see any of the areas that may need additional refinement. In my case, there were definitely some big blobs of putty that needed to be addressed before I could move on. So I sanded a bit more and applied a final pass of primer and let it dry. Now that the primer is dry, I'm going to get into wood graining. To start, I'm going to base coat the entire piece with warm caramel spray paint. You can use a variety of base colors to change the overall appearance of the wood grain. I just happen to like this combination. When the base color is dry, I'll take Minwax, Dark Walnut Stain, and a chip brush, and we'll apply the stain across the entire piece to create the grain pattern. Start light and work your way up to your final finish. It's always easier to add more than to take it away. Work the stain across your piece, making sure to get good coverage, and look for any drips or puddles that should be brushed out. Repeat the process until you're happy with the overall appearance and set it aside to dry. Once the stain had set, I'll seal in the color with a satin clear coat and set it out in the sun for a while. As you can see, the coarse bristles allow the base color to peek out from beneath the wood stain, giving the appearance of wood fiber. 
This technique is a great time saver and can be applied to a variety of surfaces to make almost anything look like real wood. Okay, one piece of the room taken care of and only 999 left to go. But there's always room for one more. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below. And until next time, go make something.